Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Brooding. And I'm Erin Frizz. July 4th is one of the top travel holidays of the year. We typically see traffic increase by about 13% over the holiday. AAA is predicting 1.9 million Ohioans will be traveling more than 50 miles from home, so roads will definitely be crowded this weekend. Be sure you have the OGO app so you can see live traffic conditions and cameras and be alerted to incidents and, of course, construction zones all over the state of Ohio. And we're also using our digital message boards to remind you to never drive impaired. So far this year, unfortunately, 102 people have been killed in alcohol-related crashes. Slow down, move over. You've no doubt heard this message before. Last week, ODOT participated in the Spirit Ride, a national movement by the American Towmen to educate motorists about move over laws. It includes a casket and procession of tow trucks, emergency vehicles, and transportation agency vehicles. In Ohio, you are required to move over or slow down for all roadside workers. That includes ODOT and other road crews, law enforcement, tow truck drivers, and any other vehicle with a flashing light. Last year, ODOT crews were struck a total of 156 times, so please do your part to help keep our workers safe. ODOT has been working to modernize its maintenance facilities across the state. This week, Director Jerry Ray traveled to Paulding County to help officially open their new full-service maintenance facility. A new outpost in Hicksville was also opened. During this administration, we will have built 42 new facilities. This represents a more than $300 million investment, the largest in ODOT history. And those were really fun events to go to this week. I had a chance to go up there and That's check it out. Great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The Veterans Glass City Skyway turned 10 years old last weekend. Our Who Knew Guru takes a look back at the first decade of this iconic structure. Glass City, Glass, Glass City. Glass City, Glass, Glass City, boy. Can you believe before the Veterans Glass City Skyway was opened, the main route to get over the Maumee River was across the Robert Craig Memorial Drawbridge? The problem? I-280 had to be delayed for tall ships to pass. Thankfully, the beautiful Veterans Glass City Skyway was built. The bridge not only relieved congestion, but at the time included many firsts for the department. When it opened in June 2007, the 8,800 foot span was ODOT's largest single project worth more than $230 million. And the main attraction of the bridge? A state-of-the-art LED pylon containing 384 LED fixtures, capable of, wait for it, 16.7 million color combinations. That's amazing. And the 156 strand cable is the largest ever for a cable stayed bridge. What's more amazing, the bridge has a 100 year lifespan. Who knew? Really interesting. Thanks, Dave. Aaron, here's an awful joke for you. Okay, I'm ready. Why did the geese try to cross the road? Is it because they waddled too? Well, maybe they did, and they <laughs> needed some help waddling across I-75 in Toledo this week. Check out this photo from one of our OGO traffic cameras. We're happy to report, though, that everyone safely made it across the interstate. Well, that's really good. Most of Ohio experienced very heavy rain last week. ODOT crews had to respond to several flooded out roadways, including I-70 in Guernsey County. It's also a good time to remind you that when you see high water over the road, turn around, don't drown. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Connect with us on social media. And of course, send us your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And of course, we love getting great videos like this one from District 2. From Family Fun Day at Lucas County Garage. And now you're in the loop.